time ago. Wolfgang Van Gogh, and he said, kindness is the golden chain that links society together. So I started thinking, a golden chain? How is kindness like a golden chain? Well, I made my own golden chain to show it. And if you look at this golden chain, it's not really made out of gold. It's just paper. But it's still special because if each of these links on the chain is a person and that person does something kind, it connects them to the next person. And if that person does something kind, it connects them to the next person. And pretty soon we have a big, long link of kindness that can keep going and going. And that's kind of what happens in this story. So let's read it. I'm gonna be reading it in English and Nomari is going to be reading it in Spanish. So you'll get double the story. So here we go. Kindness is a cape string. La bondad es el hilo de una cometa. Hug a special someone when you greet the morning light. Abraza a alguien especial cuando saludes a la luz de la mañana. It starts, kindness is like sunshine. It starts the day off right. La bondad es como el sol. Empieza bien el día. Think of ways to spread it. Stack the dishes. Tie a shoe. Piensa en las formas de derramarla. Guarda los trastes. Y ata una Sorry, I had to let my dog out. Kindness is an open door to welcome others through. La amabilidad es una puerta abierta para acoger a los demás. Help a friend or teacher. Share a book or swap a smile. Kindness runs like dominoes. Reach out and tip a tile. Ayuda a un amigo o a un profesor. Comparte un libro o intercambie una sonrisa. La bondad corre como fichas de dominó. Júntalas e inclina una ficha. Visit. A sick neighbor. Send an unexpected gift. Kindness is a kite string. Let it out. See spirits lift. Visita a un vecino enfermo. Envía un regalo inesperado. La bondad es el hilo de una cometa. Déjala salir. Ve cómo se levanta el ánimo. Make room around the table for those who stand apart. Kindness helps you navigate a map to guide your heart. Hace espacio en la mesa para los que se apartan. La amabilidad te ayudará a navegar. Un mapa para guiar tu corazón. Say sorry. Show forgiveness. Try to view the other side. Kindness is a footbridge. Step across the wide divide. Di lo siento. Muestra generosidad. Intenta ver el otro lado. La amabilidad es una puerta, es un puente peatonal. Atraviesa la amplia división. Be gentle with the earth and its creatures, great and small. Kindness is a golden chain that links us one and all. Sea amable con el planeta y sus criaturas grandes y pequeñas. La bondad es una cadena de oro que une a uno y a todos. 
So tag someone with kindness before the chance is gone. Kindness is contagious. Así que etiqueta a alguien con bondad antes de que la oportunidad vuele. La bondad es contagiosa. When you catch it, pass it on. Cuando la captures, pásala. And I hope all of you will think of some ways to be kind today and then pass that kindness on because it will be like that golden chain. You'll keep adding links and pretty soon it'll spread and spread and spread through your whole school and through your whole community. I really enjoyed reading kindnesses in a kite string and then hearing Nomari read it in Spanish. It's so beautiful to hear in Spanish. So thank you, Nomari, for sharing it in Spanish also. And thank you everyone for listening. Yes, everyone, thank you so much for letting me read in Spanish. If you have any questions for Michelle, feel free to send them in the chat or unmute yourself. Michelle, while we get some questions, can you tell us your inspiration for this book? Um, well, as I said, the first inspiration was I saw that quote about the golden chain. And so that got me thinking about how kindness can be compared to other things. So first I thought of comparing it to a golden chain. And then I thought of comparing it to a kite, like the title, Kindness is a Kite String. Because if you've ever flown a kite, and you can see I have my kite in the background, when you lift it up higher and higher and higher into the air, Oh, it makes you feel so happy inside. And kindness is kind of like that. So my inspiration was to try to connect kindness to lots of other things that make you happy and spread joy. That's beautiful. What is your favorite thing about being an author? Oh my goodness. My favorite thing about being an author is exactly what I'm doing right now, is being able to read my stories and share my stories with students and to see them smile and to know that my words are making people happy and hopefully making a difference, especially if people are going to start to be kinder. Absolutely. And how long did it take you to write your book? Oh, well, every book is a little bit different. This book I actually wrote pretty quickly. It maybe took me about a month to get the words down, but it took me a long time to find the right publisher. I had to send it out to editors. Editors are the people that decide if they like your words and want to turn it into a story. So I sent it out to several different places. It probably took me a couple years until I found the very best publisher for this book, Cardinal Rule Press. And then after I found the publisher, Cardinal Rule Press had to find the illustrator. The illustrator is Claire Laforte. And they had to look all around to find the very special illustrator for this book. And that took a while. That can take months and months and months. And then the illustrator has to do the pictures. And it takes an illustrator anywhere from six months to a year to do all of the pictures for the book. So it's a long process. You have to be patient if you're gonna be an author. Absolutely. Asaraya wants you to wants to know how you became an author. Oh, well, I have a, a funny picture to show everyone. This is me when I was about three years old. And if you can see, can you see what I have on my lap? I yeah. have a book. This was way before World Read Aloud, but I loved reading. And I love telling stories, even when I was really small. And so I kept telling stories and I would make my own books out of paper and I'd write down the stories and I kept doing it. And I always thought in my head, oh, it'd be so great to be an author someday. So I just kept thinking about that goal and working on my writing more and more and more every year until I finally published a book. And how many books have you written? I have four books 
And this, this is one of them. And then I have, I'll quickly show you the covers of them. This Finding Treasure Collection of a Collections is poetry all about things people collect. So if you collect something, you might like that story. Dream Big Little Scientist is a bedtime book. If you like science, you might like to read this book all about different kinds of science. And then I have a book called Fresh Picked Poetry, A Day at the Farmer's Market, which is poems about a farmer's market. So if you've been counting, that's one, two, three, four books. And I have two new books coming out in March. I'm going to show you the covers, friends. This You're going to be the first classes to see this book. No one has seen this book yet. Two of them. This one is called A Place for Rain. It's about a classroom that builds a rain garden to help with stormwater runoff and to make a habitat for wildlife. And I have another poetry collection coming out called Leafy Landmarks Travels with Trees. It's about a family who takes a road trip with their cute dog to visit famous and historic trees all over the country. And that's in poems. So four plus two, how many books do I have all together? I bet you know the math. Six, six so far. Are there other questions? <clears throat> Looking in the chat, because I think we might have lost Nilari. Um, okay, there's a question. I'm, I'm not, I apologize if I don't pronounce your name correctly, but Zienna wants to know how writing books makes me feel. That's a great question. Um, so when I'm sharing books, it makes me feel really happy. Like right now I'm feeling very happy. Sometimes when I'm starting a book, and I bet this has happened to some people, and I can't think of an idea, and I'm looking at a blank piece of paper and I don't know how to make the words come out of my brain onto the page, I can be frustrated. Even though I've been writing for years and years and years, sometimes writing is still hard for me and I can feel frustrated, but I have to keep trying Sometimes I have to put it away and come back to it. But when I get an idea and I know what words I want to write, then I feel really excited. So there's all kinds of emotions that go with writing. Um, um, yes, yeah, sorry, I'm back. Uh, okay, sorry, you're I'm back. back. <laughs> <laughs> In what year did you publish your first book? The first book was Fresh Picked Poetry. The Farmer's Market Collection, and that came out in 2017. So, oh my goodness, that's going to be almost seven years ago. And which book <clears throat> did you publish first? This is the first one. Oh, right. Yes, yep. that one. And what was your favorite book as a child? Oh, well, you know, it's funny. I don't, I can't tell. I've looked at this picture a lot, and I can't tell what I'm reading in that book I think I might be reading a collection of nursery rhymes but my favorite book was the first book I read all by myself and it was Frog and Toad Are Friends by Arnold Lobel has anyone raise your hand classes if you've read has anyone read Frog and Toad books oh good I see some hands up I love Frog and Toad I love their friendship so that was my favorite and is that still your favorite book um, of all time, oh, there's so many wonderful books out there and I discover new books every day. So it's hard to know what my favorite was. And speaking of new books, I wanted to quickly show you a book that came out this year that's one of my most recent favorites. It's called The New Bicycle. And it's by Darcy Dazel. She did the pictures and the words and it's about this child who gets a new bicycle and goes on amazing adventures and I love riding bicycles so I love this book because there are all kinds of crazy adventures and the pictures are amazing there's one amazing place that she goes to so this is one of my most recent favorite books 
amazing. Michelle, thank you so much for being with us today and reading to us. I really love this story. I hope everyone has enjoyed it. Just make sure to sign up to the rest of the uh, to the read out louds we have for today. We have one in a few minutes too. So Michelle, is there anything you would like to add before we go? I would just say to everyone out there, keep reading. Reading opens up amazing worlds for you. So keep reading and enjoying those books and have a wonderful rest of your world read aloud day. Yes. And keep spreading kindness, everyone. Have a Absolutely. great day. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.